If you're watching this video, you're likely thinking about going aboard the Carnival Sunshine, and we're gonna take you on the most typical room that you'll find aboard the Sunshine. This right here is the hallway. As you can see, it stretches on forever. And it's the reason why I'm showing you this hallway is to help you find your room easily. Um, one of the things you can do is to mark your room door. Now, if you have that snoozing sign on there, that means that no one's going to come in your room and disturb you. However, as you're walking down the ship, it oftentimes gets confusing. So one of the things I highly recommend you do is decorate your room appropriately. Decorate the door so that when you get to your room, it'll be easy for you to find. Without any further delay, this is room 6330. As you can see, it's a double bed. The beds are very small, smaller than your typical hotel room, and that's because a typical cruise line room is very small. Uh, so this is what it'll look like. They'll give you a towel for each person that's in the room. That's gonna be important because if you lose that towel, you're gonna to have to pay for it or be without a towel. So definitely keep track of your towel. The television is quite small, but appropriate for the room size. I'm gonna take you around all the amenities that this room has to offer now. Here are three things I want to point out. The first is that there is no windows. That means there's no natural sunlight to wake you up. You'll also note that there is no alarm clock. That means you'll have to bring your own me mechanism to alert you that it's morning and it's time to get up. Also, those bottles of water you see right there are $4 a bottle. Don't touch them. Put them in the closet so you don't accidentally use it. Another thing to note is that this is an older ship, so you have an older dated cabin. You're gonna also see signs of wear and tear. If you are new to cruising, the first thing that you'll realize is how limited space is. They make use of every bit of space in the cabin. There's going to be no wasted spaces. The first space that we're going to explore is a cabinet. Let's go ahead and open it up and you'll see two shelves on the cabinet. You can store whatever. Typically, I like to put clothing in here and the reason why is because they don't give you a lot of drawer space. If you look, the first drawer has the hair dry and then the second two drawers are quite small, not a lot of storage space. So uh, a lot of people bring clothing that they can hang on hangers and put inside the closet and we're gonna head there in a little bit. Before headed there, I wanted to show you these outlets. This is it. That's all the outlet that exists in this room. This right here is for the refrigerator, which is below. We'll explore that in a minute. And this ship was recently updated and part of the update included those newer, nicer, shinier thermostat. Now there's a leather or plastic thing that when you first get in there and that's for uh, the itinerary there is to help you understand what's happening uh, throughout the day. And the leather plastic thing on your bed is for you to put your luggage. It pr protects the bed from scuff and wear and dirt. Uh, but that's the first thing that you're gonna see on your bed when you get inside the cruise ship. Let's explore this closet area before moving on to the bathroom. There are two closets. Uh, the best thing to store in this one is going to be your luggage. And in this closet, there are two locations where you can hang clothing. Um, and uh, there's also a safe within the cabin so you can put your valuables. It's quite small as well as a life vest. This is the bathroom and it has a nice, wonderful blue sink, reminds you of the ocean. Also, there's lots of little cubbies you'll notice in this bathroom where you can put stuff, but it's a tight uh, space in here. Not a lot of space for you to take a shower or to have a lot of maneuvering room, really only good for one person at a time. I do like the fact that they have the dispensers in the bathroom so you don't have to keep on running out of those little um, packets that they give you. I also uh, like the fact that the water temperature was immediate. It was immediately hot so I didn't have to wait on it and it was, uh, you know, can stay hot for a very long time. Here is a pro tip for you. On day one, get organized. Find a place for everything and have everything in a place. That way you won't be walking over yourself. This is a small bathroom, it's a small cabin, and in order for you to enjoy your vacation, you need to be able to find things you need and also not live in a big mess. So definitely organize and get your cabin sorted out on day one. 
we are not finished there is more to come i do want to encourage you though to like and subscribe that's the best way that you can support my channel let's take a quick look at two other types of cabins that you'll find aboard this cruise ship now the first one has a small balcony and it's just a little bit larger than the cabin we just showed you and the second one is the has a room for a bed on the floor avoid having a bed on the floor at all costs it gives you absolutely no space um, far more preferable to have one of the fold down beds The first cabin we saw was one of the smallest that it offers. It's also one of their more popular cabins. However, there are many different types of cabins and I'm sure there's one that suits your need. Generally speaking, the more square footage in the cabin, the more natural light that it lets in, the more it's going to cost. Um, so definitely look ahead of time and plan out your trip accordingly to make sure that you get the right cabin that's right for you.